other specific reasons is that Senator Obama is the only candidate who proposes creating a cabinet level post to oversee government to government relations with tribes across the nation. We heard President Shirley talk to today about their efforts to try and get an audience with the current president. We ourselves have tried many times to get an audience, not just with the current president, but with other cabinet level people, especially within the Department of Homeland Security. And we have been denied access to those individuals. Barack Obama's plan will allow tribes to have direct access to leadership within Washington, D.C., but also the leadership within the, as the President of the United States of America. And we welcome that opportunity to, to be involved in that way. One of the most important elections in this generation, our country needs new leadership. We need a new course. We need to elect someone who understands and respects the tenets of tribal sovereignty, not someone who just pays at lip service. We need to elect Barack Obama, President of the United States of America. The last comment that I would make, I'd like to share with you, is that I had the honor and the privilege and the opportunity to be in an audience with Barack in Albuquerque, New Mexico, about a month ago. It was at that time when the 19 Pueblo nations of, in, in New Mexico for, uh, endorsed Barack Obama and they had this event there. And I had the opportunity to stand from here to there with Barack Obama and speak with him in front of all the tribal leaders that were in the audience there. And I, after I told him about the Thonauta Nation and told him about our concerns with border issues, immigration issues, and told him that the Thonauta Nation will never agree to a walled fence along the 75 miles of border along the southern Mexican portion of reservation. I also said, Senator Obama, if I can be so bold as to offer you some political advice, could I do that? And he kind of chuckled a little bit and he said, sure. And I said, the political advice I would offer you, sir, is that when you get into the White House, when you get into the presidency, that you continue to talk from your heart. You continue to speak from your heart because that's the way many people see you today. You are a man of honesty. You are a man of integrity. You are a man with a good heart. We need you in Washington, D.C., but we need you to continue to listen and to speak from your heart. That was the political advice that I offered him. He thanked me for it. In closing, I